All right, what we have here is Bear. Bear is a sheep -a doodle uh, Someone was curious about the dog. A sheep -a doodle is an old English sheep dog mixed with either a standard or a giant poodle. Um, he is now, God, it seems like he was a puppy yesterday, but he's burping, but he's now five years old. He's a rather large, he is a large dog, actually. Um, he's going to be getting a haircut probably in a couple weeks. sheep -a doodles most of them, not always, guys, same as any doodles. Uh, some of them do shed. He does not shed. I haven't met any that have shed, but I have heard some people have got some. They got the genetics where they shed, whatever the other dog is they're crossbred with. Um, so he doesn't so he can get really really hairy. So what I have to do and I just did this um, Probably a week or two ago is I cut around his eyes because his hair start growing down on his eyes and stuff And that's what you have to do with them. Um, of course with any dog poodles too, any dog that doesn't shed you have to um, their little butts, <laughs> you have to cut the hair around their butts and everything and make sure that, you know, everything's hygienic and stuff like that. It's not a big deal. That's if you want them to be real hairy, um, which in the winter is cool. In the summer, you shave them down uh, a couple times, just, you know, help them out. Depends where you live though. I live in Colorado. The summers get really hot. And of course you'd clean around them. One thing I'm bad about and be careful with what I gave him earlier. No, I didn't. I think my son did gave him spaghettios as you can see on his face he has spaghettios um spaghetti stains all on his on his, in his coat now with him i bought him i spent 2400 or so dollars for him and he i usually have rescue dogs and i've had so many rescue dogs he's slowly trying to get closer because i have a choo-choo So I spent $2,400 for him. With that being said, um, I had rescue dogs before. I had some really good beagles, but my problem was, is it wasn't behavioral. It's just, they had so many health issues. They were great dogs, but like my last little beagle I had, she lived, she got lymphoma and died when she was six. And so I had him, I, I, but I bought him as a puppy and then I bought her because he was a little tiny puppy and I didn't have any other dogs in the house because my last beagle had passed away, um, also at a fairly young age, too, from diabetes. So he weighs about 120 pounds. He's a, he's a pretty large dog. Um, he tried to do a lot of things poodles can do when he was younger, which is poodles are really good at like obstacle courses and stuff and getting up on things. We take him to the park. But he's built more like an English sheep, old English sheep dog. But I think he's he's larger than one. So he has he's more like a bear. He has sh uh, his legs in the front are shorter, so when he walks, he it's like a bear kind of kind of thing. So he doesn't have that um, that level of skill a poodle has, and the um, really he doesn't he just doesn't have that type of stuff. He can't do all the little things like run over little tiny bridges and go up and down stuff like that. He's built like a bigger dog with short legs. His lifespan, um, he's on the larger side, but it, I, I would say over 10 years is what I would guess with him, hopefully from the poodle. And poodles are like number one in intelligence, I believe. And old English sheepdogs are like number six or seven in intelligence. So he's pretty smart. He's a real smart dog. Um, one thing about sheep -a doodles and I found another in a rescue I was going to get because I've never seen them in a rescue, a smaller female. They can be very aggressive, and it's the sheep dog in them too a lot. Poodles aren't always the nicest dogs either, but he's he can be pretty aggressive, especially he's leash aggressive. So when he's on a leash, he can be really aggressive, very protective. Um, I remember I took him with me, and I went to Oregon on vacation, and 
I, I took my, I drove out there and took my van and we were at a place uh, and we got to go food because it was the middle of the pandemic. So we're sitting in the parking lot in the back of an Asian restaurant and uh, eating. And I had him hooked onto my um, van outside because we're on vacation. So I'm eating and I bought him something to eat too. <laughs> So, and one of the guys came out of the restaurant next door and went to put some trash in the dumpster. Well, he put it in there, but the top slammed down. And he's on a long leash. He turns around and goes after him. He's going to bite that guy. But he was wrapped to the um, to my door. I thought he was going to tear my van door off. I was like, oh, my God, that's what I need, not having a door all the way up in Oregon. But he, he was going, he scared the heck out of that guy. And he, was, he wasn't playing off leash in a dog park and all that stuff he gets along really well with other dogs unless they mess with him and then he's at that age he's five where he warns them little dogs um they won't leave him alone like puppies we had a little puppy shih tzu over here that was really it was grandparents we were taking care of just because they couldn't handle it they decided to get a little dog at you know late 70s a puppy that was really wild instead of getting an older dog so they wanted us to take it for a while see if we could slow it down a little bit and so it wouldn't leave him alone you know nipping at him and all that he would whack it or he would jump on it not jump on it but like hold it down and growl at it but he never heard it he never heard it just trying to scare the little dog um but he's a good dog if you're interested in him you probably get him cheap get him cheaper than what i paid for him but i i like the doodles i think the doodles are really good um dogs um like i said he's a little leash aggressive uh, with other dogs, but off the leash, he's a pretty good dog. And um, I think that's about it with the sheep a doodle. In regards to that, he doesn't shed. He, you know, he costs me over a hundred and some dollars when he gets when he gets groomed because he weighs around 120 pounds, of course. And they go by pounds, and then you got the tip and everything like that. Um, but you don't have to groom him all the time. I think his last haircut was two, maybe three months ago. And then we'll get another one, probably not too, not too far in the future, just so he's not, um, doesn't have low hair. His hair is not real short when it really starts snowing. So he's got pretty good hair by then. Um, and you can brush him a lot better than I do. I don't brush him as much. He doesn't get knotted up either. He doesn't get that hair that he gets knotted up. But you, if you brush him, he'd look a lot nicer too. But if you're curious about them, that's what they are. And they also have them, if you don't want one this large, they also have a miniature uh, sheep doodle I've seen. And what it is, I think they, they're like with a, a miniature or a smaller poodle. And so they're like 40 pounders. So they have 40 pounder ones. And I did see a poodle, the one I saw at the, at the um, animal shelter, and I've never seen them ever before, but I saw one once because that one dog was really aggressive and they said you shouldn't have other dogs or uh, kids in the house. Um, she was only like 60 pounds or so. so. She was pretty small, but I've seen other ones like him uh, that are younger and they're about as large as he is now. So anyway, I hope this helps anybody, uh, helps people out. Uh, one thing about them, they shouldn't have as many genetic problems because they're a good mix with poodles and poodles have pretty good gen genetics and as far as like hip problems and stuff. He does get up a little bit and limp when he first get up, but he also is heavy, um, you know, a heavier dog. And also he, he gets in fence fights with the dogs next door and he keeps running through the rocks. And I think he keeps like pulling a muscle or something, trying to be all aggressive towards the fence. But after that, he's fine. He can run with you. He can do all that stuff. He's a pretty lazy dog when he's in the house, but he loves going for walks, but he's not going to tear your house up because he needs to get out. He'll lay around you know, all day if you let him. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody out. Hope everyone's having a good day. Bye.